Well, it's a case of Rockabye Dudley as he rides in tomorrow morning at five past nine. This morning here on BBC One, in 25 minutes, you can find out how to have a tug of war without a rope and make tomato surprise without a tomato in Why Don't You? First, here come the monkeys. What do you reckon, Spot? If this new Saturday morning show, It's Wicked, is going all around the country, it might come here. Yeah, and if they have a goldfish girl, I'll put you in for it. You might be just what they're looking for if... It's new. It's live. And it's, it's wicked. wicked. It's wicked. It's wicked. It's wicked. It's wicked. It's wicked starts on Saturday at nine. And now on one, we have more ideas from the Cardiff kids in Why Don't You? Hey! Why don't you? Why don't you? Just switch off your TV set. Go do something else for in Don't be a teddy and draw a square idea. First watch the show and then just go and give the switch. Morning, one and all. I've decided it's far too early in the day to be up and about. I mean, who can be fiddling in with yogurt pots and pieces of string at this unearthly hour? I'm sure the others can manage without me. But, nevertheless, I've still got all your letters at hand. For instance, here's some useless information. Did you know that you share your birthday with at least nine million others? Hmm, could be expensive. Ah, uh, this is the life up at the crack of noon. <sighs> Come on, Emma, get oh, a line I'm down. Come on, Kate. Oh, have you seen Kate? Hush up, quiet. Oh, now that she's safely locked away for the day, we can have a laugh out here. Yeah. Yeah. Well have you ever wanted to play tug of war, but you haven't got a rope? Well, now you don't need one. Just put the line on the floor. Like Emma's done. Yeah. Then we pick the teams. We've each got three aside. Okay. Now, turn around with your backs opposite each other. Okay. Then bend down and grasp the hand of an opposing player. Uh, Come on. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, the idea is to pull the other team over the line. Oh. 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 Go! Anyway, here's a good letter from David Stevenson, who's got very good handwriting for a four-year-old. But he writes, Dear, why don't you? I wasn't feeling very well, but watched your program this morning and I feel much better. It cheers me up. Love it. Positive proof that why don't you is good for your health. Now, I wonder what that slot's going to make me for my breakfast this morning. Mm. This is something called tomato surprise. So get a pen and paper quick if you want to write it down. And here are the ingredients. Six tomatoes, a cucumber, three thick slices of cooked chicken, 50 grams of grated cheese and mayonnaise. Now then, you take the tomato and you cut off the top and then you scoop out all the insides like that. Now then, you take the chicken and the cucumber and you cut them up into small pieces. Then all you have to do is mix them with the mayonnaise. Put the chicken in there and the 
cucumber. Oops. <laughs> and the mayonnaise. Oh, gosh. Right, mixing up. Here we are again. Mixing all the mixture. Now, then, you take the tomato and you put in about three or four teaspoons of this mixture into the tomato. Depends how big your tomato is, really, doesn't it? Anyway, you leave some room on top so you can sprinkle on some grated cheese. Like that. Nice. Then you put the whole thing under the grill until the cheese is quite soft and turning brown. And here's the touch of the Delia Smith. You put the tomato in the bed of lettuce and you sprinkle on some parsley. Now here are the ingredients again. Six tomatoes, a cucumber, three thick slices of cooked chicken, 50 grams of grated cheese, 